Okay, let's see, we've got... Okay, got everything all set. Okay, so <clears throat> today working on my Tifling <clears throat> original character or Tiefling, I don't know which way most people say it. I feel like Tifling for me, I don't know, but yeah. <clears throat> So let's see, we've got, oh, come on, let's drop over here. Okay, there we go. So we've got some sketchbook stuff. One thing I haven't really thought through is if it's gonna be a male or a female, I drew it in my sketchbook as a male. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> but that was something that wasn't really covered in the little prompt. So, I don't know. <clears throat> I think I'll... I I guess since I started it as male already, I guess I could go with male. <clears throat> but, so... Horns are long and spirally, the hair is blonde with uh, blood red tips, Viking braids. I've got like all this stuff down in here, so pretty much got all of that stuff worked through. Just need to figure out. I think I might go with the female actually, so I could kind of show the cheek because I wanted to do lavender with like darker purple cheek. <laughs> Might be easier to show, I think, on the, on the female, but I don't know. Um, their familiar slash pet is, is a possum, so that's fun. Gonna have to figure out that one. <clears throat> I did a really quick, really bad possum on my sketch there, you can see, but let's see. So I've got some reference stuff sitting there. Um, need to figure out um, need to figure out what kind of pose <clears throat> for this character so it's one of those weird things where someone suggested tambourine wizard, which could mean <clears throat> either a wizard that also uses a tambourine or a bard. Like it, it's kind of a toss up on that in my mind. So like I've got, that's a shot. So what I was thinking was setting it up on like a staff using this style of a tambourine as the base and I, I gave it a bladed edge or like an edge that comes out past where the metal like the symbols are so that it can be used as a bludgeoning weapon like a knuckle weapon or like as a 
or if it's attached to the staff, if it has that edge, it could be used as like, like a glaive style weapon. I don't know. So that was kind of the idea there. And you can see how it's kind of wrapped around in that area. So I need to figure out if that's how I want it or if I want it to just be held. And I, yeah, I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna change to a female, I think. I, that'd be kind of cool. Cause the, the hairstyle still works female, absolutely. Um, and all these things. And I don't do a lot of female original characters. So that's what I'm gonna go with. So let's look at it. I think I'll have it on the staff just because so many depictions like people think wizard they think either like a wand or a staff I feel like so we're gonna roll with it's attached to the staff and it can be detached and used for music And obviously it would make noise while it's being used anyway, but it's a lot easier to control when it's not on a staff, I think would be the idea there. Okay, let's look at Shorten this a little bit so it'd be like right there. Something in that vein. In this image, can't really tell what the legs are really doing. So let's try. And yeah. I'm not entirely sure. Could I? I know. could have a number of different like styles for the leg like they could have absolutely normal human legs they could have more uh, digitigrade and hoofed it really just depends on your character I'm gonna go with I think Mine would have like 
I'm gonna go with human human leg. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna roll with like human human feet. Human plantigrade style foot, I think, is what I'm rolling with on this. Okay, so we're gonna stitch this. So I don't know. Okay, maybe. Because we're doing a twist up with the torso, maybe this leg. Yeah, I like that leg coming across the body. Like that, maybe. And let's do, let's do this. So she's on her toe there and then this leg is coming back and across in this direction also up on the toe <clears throat> yeah I dig that that's not too bad so now we just kind of need to actually let's look at a couple more poses maybe see if there's anything else and there's the classic just like standing with the staff but that's kind of boring and I don't love it <clears throat> and absolutely open to suggestions for poses <clears throat> okay, we're looking around. Sorry, this is not totally riveting for people watching. I realize that. <laughs> um. It's looking like that's probably our our look, though. It's, a, it's not a half bad pose. <laughs> yeah. Um. I do need to figure out where the. There are some really cool styles out there, just looking through these like wizard poses, all the different art styles people use. Okay, so I guess that's kind of the pose I'm rolling with. All right, cool. So that's what we're gonna go with. Let's real quick, uh, it's not the lasso. Really need to learn shortcuts in this program. Okay. Slide that up this way. So, there we go, brush. <clears throat> oh, that's not what I'm looking for. I always forget that that's two different things. Uh, okay, so we've got the start of this thing here. So in, this arm okay so it's kind of coming doing this kind of situation where it's so I will have that and then the, so this will exist like so that's not so much all right hey how's it going so we've got 
right in this area there we go so that's kind of where that arm is going to be that fist is going to be tilted a little bit more this way okay so <clears throat> let's see oh i need to figure out her t where her tail would be too that's going to be interesting thing. Okay, well, let's put the head a little bit on, let's see, let's put it like that. That's not so bad. <clears throat> that arm is short. <laughs> that arm is way short. Uh, so these are things you kind of learn and feel as you go. So let's ditch this. And I'm probably gonna have a, a smaller, like less muscular arm, but like right now, let's see where we're at with that. Okay, so that's a little bit better, at least. Um, okay, we've got this would be doing that situation. Okay, so we've got that's falling back. This is moving forward. <clears throat> that is way short, um, but not a difficult fix. We'll just grab that and we'll slide these down like that. And then actually grab the slide it. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, and we'll grab that and we'll slide that out slightly like that. Okay, and then back to my pencil. So, okay. Like that. There we go. Something kind of like that. That's not too bad. So you're making, uh, you're working on art, just uh, random art or witch sketches, like as in a witch or. Let's see. Sorry, sometimes stuff gets a little weird when translating stuff okay so i totally understand that kind of situation <laughs> uh, okay let's see that's oh, oh trying to catch up it's a kind of a large file so That's not so much. Oh, cool. OK. 
Okay. So, real quick. I really wish L was the lasso tool in this program. Because it would make it a lot easier. And I know I can change it at some point if I want. Oh, fun. Shadowing can be really difficult. It is not my favorite thing. But it is fun to work on, for sure. Okay, so we've got a start, it looks like, on this sketch. I need to... Try and work on. Like, cause I know, let's see, like that. No worries. All right, so we're trying to get like a semi realistic female form out of this. I'm not the best with female characters, which is why I don't draw them all that often. Um, but I think this would be a fun one to make a female character of. So that's why we're rolling with that. Um, so this looks wrong, and I know that, but we're working on it. So what I think might need to happen is bring this out a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe. Let's look at that. So what's happening right there is that's kind of where the... That would be... So we need to kind of make this twist a little bit more. There, okay. That's a little bit better. Bring that body a little bit more out and realistic. Even though this is our sketch, we can always adjust the actual stuff later. It's not that big of a deal. It's easier if I kind of nail stuff down now. Okay, so we've got that going. So let's see, I want the, let's put the tambourine toward the top here. A little bit farther away. I think that's a little bit better. So this is a Tifling original character that I used the Tifling OC prompt thing on Twitter and people helped me design this. They gave me the suggestions. So I'm working off of that list um, and let's see. So, <clears throat> I already kind of did a head bust situation. It's a male in that version. I decided to go female because I don't do very many female original characters, but the class they decided was Tambourine Wizard. So, what I decided to do was kind of make a staff that they attach the Tambourine to. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to add a blade to the edge of that that came past the symbols or not. So we'll see on that. But so we've got how it's attached, it's just it's tied down so it can be removed and used as an actual tambourine. It's entirely possible. So that's the idea with the weapon. I need to figure out the clothing a little bit. It's supposed to be Hype Beast. I 
which is weird, but it is what it is. So. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm just gonna let my dog out real quick. <clears throat> Mom just got home, so she's excited. She wants to go out and see mom. Um, okay, so it's a good start, I think, the sketch. So what I'm working with is that, okay, I need to figure out how I want to draw her familiar, but that's gonna be added in a, at a later point, I feel like, so. Um, 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 um. I really need to figure out the shoe situation. That's going to be a big part. And then, okay. So one thing I know she's going to have is she's going to have um, the classic like 90s situation where you got the tied off. Uh, flannel uh, but it's gonna be a hype beast brand flannel uh, that's going around the waist so that's gonna be a little something so it's gonna have that um, That'll be around the waist. I need to figure out shoes. Shoes. She's gonna have round glasses. I know that. That's one of the things. Uh, horn accessories. She's gonna have like bells coming off, hanging off the horns. So we're working through those kind of things. <clears throat> um, I forget. Uh, let's see. Her eyes are going to be lizard eyes, red, with golden, with red or purple in the eyes. Viking braids are blonde, with red, blood red tips. High beast clothes, which is interesting. She's charming, snarky, and confident. Uh, let's see, real quick. Uh, horn, yeah, horn stuff round glasses possible okay so that's pretty much all that stuff so it's just gonna have the horn accessories I'm not see the problem I have is I'm not really a streetwear hype Beast. Like person, I don't really follow that kind of stuff. Like I love shoes. Shoes are awesome. I love sneakers. Um, I wish I could afford really nice. Like I, I love the Jordan ones. That's a. I love the high top situation oh I think I what I decided when it was the other characters I was gonna do the Jordan ones the Chicago or LA to Chicago LA to Chicago I think is what it was not Chicago to LA so let's do <clears throat> that's a really simple shoe design. It's not difficult to do. Why am I not? 
Oh, why is it? That's weird. It's set to white for some reason. Okay. So there's some marks there. I just don't know where they are. Okay. So, I mean, it's, it's a pretty basic shoe design. swoosh in there, but yeah, no. So, I mean, it's pretty basic shoe design for it. Uh, look up some female hype beast outfits. Um. <clears throat> okay. Probably do like a crop top thing, maybe. That'd be kind of cool. Contrast crop. That's kind of cool. Um, all right. So, hey, Cypher, how's it going? I'm looking up stuff for this character because one of the things I was given in the prompt was hype beast clothing so it's not something i'm super familiar with so i have to kind of look it up as i go uh i decided on the shoe and now i'm working on this bit so let's see what i think i dig that idea so we're gonna have a And it's going to be like that. And this is all mesh. Like so. And it's going to come down on the side like that. And it's long sleeve. Okay, so we got the, that part. So now, uh, uh, maybe. I'm okay, I'm looking at some different things right now. I feel like the line 
and being confident in the fact that it's kind of scary to me. I mean, I, I feel like the fact that you're worried about it is probably a good sign that you're fine. That's not a bad. Um, yeah, I don't I feel like like if you if you have the the worry that you might be a narcissist, you or might be in danger of becoming a narcissist, should be a good sign that you're not one or you won't be I took a test and I scored much higher than most uh, eh. those I feel like those tests are kind of flawed <laughs> honestly I think the fact that like it, it's a, a worry is a good sign that you, it's you're probably going to be just fine so let's see, let's do the the one I dig that. So we're gonna do the one shoulder kind of thing for the under. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> okay, so it's, uh, for example, the question, do you feel like you're better than other people? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm... <sighs> That's a really interesting question. Just because I absolutely think that I'm better than some people out there because there's, let's be real, a lot of stupid people in the world and that's just an unfortunate fact. <clears throat> and it's just something that, you know, we, we have to accept and no so yeah I, it's just one of those things i feel like okay hey welcome back Trying to find stuff. Find stuff for the outfit, because I'm, like I said, unfamiliar with hype beast style. So that is the style of clothing that was chosen, and it is not easy. No, um, so it is, it's a staff, and it has, it's gonna have, I don't know if it's gonna have the blade sticking out, but it's, it's a tambourine attached to a staff. She's a tambourine wizard. It was the, the choice someone made. So I don't know if it'll have the blade or if it's just gonna have a blunt edge that sticks out past the symbols um so yeah that is what that is i just haven't gotten there yet unfortunately I'm trying to figure out the clothing situation now so i can move forward on this i've got most of this clothing kind of situated i've got the shoes the the top um we just need the pants or shorts or whatever. Let's see. Look. Like I, 
I want something that kind of sticks out a little bit and I don't I'm not seeing anything that's jumping out at me right now which is annoying might just have to roll with the cargo pant kind of situation I guess I'll do that. Because the... The flannel around the waist will kind of give it a more feminine feel, something more skirt-like. So that's kind of cool. I think that works out. Yeah, well, actually, urban streetwear fashion, I mean, it's not exactly hype beast, I guess, but it falls in that general area, so that's kind of cool. I think I'll roll with that, and it gives it something, a little something extra. So we've got let's call it there, 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 and then there's on each side they're pretty much at the same spot. Pretty much. Okay, so checkered. Checkered Random Random Checkered And just Frayed Alright So I think that works for that So we've got the Shoes, the glasses, the horn The situation I think that works. All right, so we can get back into kind of this. So let's pop a new layer, change the color of my thing. Let's go blue. And let's put some of these clothes down on this. So let's see, we've got like that. I always feel there's something wrong with me. I don't know why. I, I mean, not, not to sound condescending or anything, but I feel like if you're an artist of any kind and you don't feel there's something wrong with you at some level, then then I don't, uh, you're, you're abnormal as an artist, I think. <laughs> like, it just seems like all of us have something that's kind of wrong. <laughs> Maybe not super wrong, but all, there's always something out there that's just not quite right, I feel, when you're talking about being an artist. But that that's me. I don't know. So I think it's it's way more normal as an artist to think there's something wrong than not. Not that that means there is something wrong. It's just one of those situations where it just feels like that's kind of the normal 
as an artist. I don't know. I feel like I'm definitely not helping <laughs> right now, and I apologize for that. Okay, so let's do that. And we've got mesh all the way across this. Kind of a unique style I think having that mesh okay and then we've got uh, most of my trouble in life is caused because of how insanely oh yeah believe me <laughs> I, I do not have a problem being alone it it's more of a problem for me to be places with people by, by far. <laughs> Luckily, uh, I have a very kind and understanding wife who realizes that I do need time to myself. Um, so <clears throat> that is always a, a really nice positive on my side I, I found someone who kind of understands that I can't be run around with people all the time oh yeah uh yeah absolutely <clears throat> It, it, it's also really hard for me to um, like get words in on conversations with multiple people to the point with like with my friends to the point where I would get like I wouldn't get frustrated necessarily but I just stop trying to tell my story to people and I just tell my story and if they heard it whatever <laughs> and if they didn't at least I got what I had to say out and it was I was done with it um, that's always been kind of one of those frustrating situations for me okay so we got that Let's see, so this one, right there, this one is like on that knee, and we've got one like down here, and then this one is like right there, and right there, and uh, we just see that one probably right there, so that works out, and then actually we've got... I might not see that one because I do have the flannel that is coming up and over. Yeah, it, it takes me a long time to get to a point where I'm going to talk to people. Uh, it's kind of one of those weird, like people are very unfamiliar with, some people don't even know I talk, honestly, when they first meet me, because it can be that drastic. Because I really only like share my opinion if I, I need to. I've never been one that had to. Um, like I won't talk just to talk. <laughs> I, yeah, it's legitimately my, my wife's parents weren't entirely sure I wasn't mute when I first met them because I talked so infrequently <laughs> it, it's, it was that bad 
it's not even not even like a joke they legitimately i think asked her at some point okay so her horns are gonna be like right there oh uh, let's see what does it say yeah it's weird I'm good at making friends but suck at keeping them and I say the dumbest sh yeah it happens <laughs> For sure. Yeah, that automat mod doesn't. Oops. Why did it? Why did it do that again? I don't know what. What sets it to go to that? But it does. <laughs> sets it to go to white, but it does. Okay, so we got that. Uh, Oh, awesome. Yeah, I'll check it out when I'm when I'm all finished on my stream for sure. Okay, so we got kind of like the really, really rough sketch going here. So let's change the color and let's get, so let's do that. Okay, so <clears throat> that would be covered in that part of it. <clears throat> okay. Let's make this a little darker, actually. Just so it's not so hard to see over stuff. I'm gonna go back on that. Okay, so we've got. <clears throat> All right, so we got that kind of thing going on. Let's bump this up real quick. I'm just gonna... Okay, put that. So. Nice. That's awesome. Belts are fun. Let's jump that. Get that a bit more pop on the front end there. And go back in here. Grab my color.
Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like, I mean, I like belts. They're cool. Um, my favorite, like, style of belt is the, like, car seat belt buckle. They work really well, and they hold up for a very long time because they're literally a car seat belt buckle. <laughs> so, and, and the, the belt itself is made of seat belt material. And they have a lot of cool, like I have a checkered one and I have one with like all the classic monsters. It's pretty dope. I think, personally, that's my opinion. I don't know. So let's see, we got all of these smash. Brown leather belt, what's it? Gold color. Oh, nice. That's fancy. Ralph Lauren. Okay. So, we've got that kind of going, figured out, I guess. Um, I think it kind of fits Dungeons and Dragons and Modern Times a little bit. Kind of a 50-50 split on that, I think. All right. What I do need to figure out is the hail. Because it's got, let's see. Nope, that's the wrong one. This one, no, that one. There we go. Now. So, let's see. <clears throat> Saved up by, I save them by, so. Hey, that's awesome. And if you can do that, absolutely. Expensive stuff, generally speaking, lasts quite a bit longer. You get a lot more bang for your buck, I feel, um, than you do just buying junk. That applies for quite a bit of things in life, I feel like. All right, I believe you're saying you get what, yes, 100%. That especially applies for tools. <laughs> there are certain tools you can cheap out on. There are a lot more that you should never cheap out on because you will end up paying more in the long run, buying them over and over again because they suck. There's something I, I was told by my, my stepfather. He's, he's got a lot of good life lessons in there. Uh, let's see. Raster layer. Do I want to do the rat? Yeah, I did a. I did the. Uh, Vector on my last one. Maybe I'll try the raster for the for this. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this works out. I guess. All right. So let's drop the opacity to fifty percent on that layer and fifty percent on this layer, and let's jump on this layer. Uh, it has a uh, over a very long time when in theory would be cheaper to have because they have cost per year on electricity and stuff. Like that. Yeah. True. True. I don't know if like I don't I don't know if I could ever really afford a Tesla, but no. It is what it is. Alright, so Let's see, I think, should I just kind of, uh, in what scene and pose do you want me to draw your character? Um, that is a good question. True. <laughs> 
Teslas are are definitely expensive, for sure. Um, as far as the character, uh, Broken Soul. I don't know. That's that's a tough one. Uh, I honestly hadn't really thought about it. Uh, I don't really know what you were thinking as far as that whole thing goes. Um, what kind of scene would you want me to do for your character, since we're on the topic. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. That's a tough one. He's... He's pretty, like, laid back. Um, I forget exactly what I put down for his backstory. I have it somewhere written down. That's super loud. <laughs> um, but. Okay. So just kind of at a, at a desk. I could do that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's see. Uh, as far as my character. Let's, let's do that. Like that. <sighs> Maybe, like, I know it's really, like, cliche and really classic, um, but he maybe, like, leaned up against a tree with his sword, like, it's very typical classic samurai kind of situation, but it is kind of sporty or emotional person that'll... That's all you need to know. Okay, so yeah, I could, I could definitely put him behind a desk. That's not too. I mean, if he's the president, it kind of makes sense to have him behind a desk. Um, well, my character is um, Takashi. I think was the. <laughs> The name, it, it's been so long since I've worked on him. Uh, I honestly think that, I uh, think that's the name. Uh, but he's a blind swordsman with one arm from uh, my like, group of original characters that I, I've been meaning to put together into like an actual comic situation for years. And still haven't gotten to. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I. Uh, no, not Takashi69. <laughs> that dude's crazy. Let's see. Let's go. Whoops. I I believe he got out of jail or is getting out of jail. I don't know. One of the two. I know that. Like he's getting out, got out. I don't know. <clears throat> he's still in jail. I honestly don't know at this point. I do know he is getting out, though. That was decided, from what I recall. One of my friends from work follows that pretty closely, for whatever reason. Okay, so we got that kind of worked out. Okay. So let's do back that up. Let's do that. He 
He is getting out because he, yeah. But to be fair, he would have been in jail. Other gang members. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Like he did what he needed to do. It is what it is. He he made his decision for sure. That's bad. Let's do. Whoops. is going really poorly so let's do this <clears throat> uh yeah takashi 69 is a rapper with insane Tattoos and a grill, a rainbow grill, rainbow hair. Yeah. It, he he's kind of kind of nuts. <laughs> and he was doing time for racketeering, and is uh, getting out at some point. relatively soon I might add uh yeah they they just hit him with racketeering like a bunch of counts of racketeering uh which just kind of covers the whole gambit uh basically fraternizing with um gang members and having guns and Drugs and all that fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's fair. Yeah, 100%. Okay, so. Nope. Almost got it, though. Actually, that could that kind of worked. Almost. Almost. We're, we're close. I think that might be it right there. <clears throat> um. Clout. He only might lose enough space to click there. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Um. Yeah. Clout just being like social media following and power essentially is clout. I guess the best way to explain it, in my opinion, is power and um, influence in social media space. To this quite nicely. <clears throat> Actually, that needs to kind of curve back this way a little bit more. Not that it matters because it's going to be in there. Uh, Norris White gangs jumping members. Here. Yeah. 
On the other hand, these people are also signing up to have that done to them. And that is, that actually has to be like over here. We'll fix that when I get to it. Um, okay, so what I'm, I'm just focused right now on the actual body shapes. I'll put the stuff over the top of it. So this part, especially, I don't really have to worry about. Uh, somebody just favorited my art. I did as soon as it came out. That's awesome. Oh, for sure. Believe me, I know how that feels. Let's see. Something kind of like that. Like I said, it doesn't really matter because it's not going to show up later. Really only need to do nice parts for the parts that will actually be showing. This stuff will, like I said, all be kind of deleted later. Something like that. <clears throat> uh, I think making them prove themselves would be much, yeah. I mean, yeah, some, some organizations and whatnot, I think do it that way and whatnot and all that fun stuff, but others obviously do it a different way. Okay, so what I want, is, I want it right there. Okay. Put here in that area. Just here would be kind of right there. That's not too bad. Okay, we got that kind of going. Let's actually just erase that out right now. Nope. Don't love that. That one, and let's bring that slightly lower, actually. Uh, yeah, I like crime movies. I like action movies. I like comedies. I like all kinds of stuff. I like all kinds of different movies. Let's see. Let's see that it just looks weird. Crime and action are my main two. I really like sci-fi. Yeah, so, no, sci-fi is awesome. Crime movies, sci-fi. Okay. 
let's do something like that, maybe. It is hard to get it. Get that right. That might have to be it right there. Uh, imagine I'll be making crime investigation. That'd be cool. Something like that. All right. We're moving along in the right direction, I feel like, at this point, which is awesome. Oh, cool. All right, man. Thanks for stopping in. It's always a pleasure. Come back, chat again. All right, so we've got up going I'm gonna put this the horns and the hair on the next level I think let's get to the hands um, yeah let's get to the hands um, yeah okay so I have that going So that thumb is going to be on the inside of the body. Like that. And then that bottom thumb is going to be on the outside of the body. Because it's going to be upside down. Like that. We'll get a little bit more nailed down here in a second. Oof, that's bad. Uh, okay. Let's back that up. That's not terrible. I'm gonna have to rotate it slightly. Let's get over here. Um, I want that same. Okay. Actually, yeah, let's do it. Let's erase that. That's not doing me any favors. Um, I hate this part. Uh, so should I do a character posing at a tree? Uh, if you want, I think that that works. It's a pretty classic kind of samurai pose. You should be able to find plenty of references for that kind of situation where they're leaned up against something like one one leg up and all that fun stuff shouldn't be too difficult to find something in that line um, and it's a classic pose for that kind of character I think it works kind of fits his personality
Yeah. I mean, no, I don't have to use reference. By all means, go for it without... I like using references. They're helpful for me. That's just me. Like, I used a reference for this pose here. I just looked at it, sketched my my version of it, and that was it. But, yeah. If you don't need it, don't use it. By all means, go for it, man. Uh, okay, so... Let's see. Got, let's put it there. And right there. My neighbor kid. <laughs> I don't want to sound old, but I really shouldn't hear your music from inside my house with headphones on. <laughs> where I have my own music going. Something like that. Let's see. Let's move it slightly here. Let's see if that helps me out. Uh, where should I kind of situate that? Probably about there. Yeah, that might be the, the spot for it. And it's not a brush. It's Okay, let's go over here. All right, so I've got that kind of worked out. I have to definitely clean that up. Uh, let's see. Um, which would make it n nine, nine, twenty-five. Yeah. In the morning or at night? <laughs> uh, no, that would be night because it's twenty-one. Yeah, so that would be nine, nine twenty-five at night at your location that's pretty crazy it's 12 25 noon ish here yeah because <clears throat> if it was a.m it would have been 9 25 because you're using the 24 hour clock yeah just took me a second i got there i use 24 hour clock for years at my work for clocking in. I got used to it. Just took me a second to get there. <laughs> On this one. All right, so the, I think the pose is looking good. Let's, let's get, let's back that up, there we go. Don't Americans use, the, uh, the, it's more common for military and like probably for clocking in and stuff at your job 
but generally speaking, the general public doesn't really use a 24 hour clock. They, they use AM, PM situation. Um, yeah, before I started working, I didn't, didn't even really know the whole 24 hour clock situation. Okay, so we've got that. I might rotate that top hand, actually. Let's see. Let's grab it. I think that's taking it out. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a little bit more in the right. Direction now, yeah. And that hand is a little smaller because it's a little farther away, so that would make sense. This one's a little closer, so it should be a little larger. Um, let's bump it up a, just a touch more, I think. Maybe that might be good. And I think it's in the right position now, so that's nice. Let's do that. Yeah. So now let's go in here and just erase this out. And there. All right. Let's see. That hand is. Set to the lasso, so it's not that big a deal. There we go. Okay, so then let's grab this one. I think. Okay. I think we're putting it in the right spot. Let's bump that up a touch there. Um, I am going to have to redo that elbow because that elbow is wrong. But it's not going to be sewn, so it's not as big of a deal. Gonna do it anyway because I don't want to do this incorrectly. There we go. Okay. Something a little bit more like that. It can come out a little bit more on that, I think. Kind of define that a little bit more. And it's not even really going to be showing, so it's not a big deal if it's not perfect. But that hand will be showing, so I will have to fix that. <clears throat> okay. So we've got like all the base stuff down. I think it's looking pretty good. Just put that there. Uh, add a new pair.
Thank you. Appreciate that. Let's get a little bit closer. Let's see. So let's put that down a little farther, maybe. Again, that's all going to be under stuff. Not a huge deal. Let's do. Something a little bit more like that. Thank you, I appreciate that. So let's see what we got. Something kind of like that there. All right, so we've got that pretty much knocked out. I'll fix the hands a little bit and whatnot. figure out that ear. I don't love that ear. It's just not cooperating with me. So, let's see what we've got. Let's do... Something kind of like that, I think. Definitely have to figure that out. Okay, we've got... Uh, and then we're gonna have... This... Situation. No. Uh, let's see. The nice part about doing these on separate layers is I can do that, not have to worry about cutting into my other line art that I did earlier. I should make it slightly. Let's do 60%. So I can see where it is and is not. Oops. Now we're on the right layer. So I want to fix this little bit here. Too bad. <clears throat> okay, so then, yeah, we're gonna give this. I 
that. Oops. Okay, Move slightly off. Um, yeah, so we're going to go way up there. Whoops, gonna go like right there, I think. Let's see, because that starts the. Clothes are very interesting things to deal with, because uh, especially loose clothes, they get baggy in certain areas, they kind of fit the form on others, it can be very difficult to nail down what should be happening where. I definitely have a hard time with some of it. Other, like some parts I can nail, other parts take me quite a bit longer. Thank you. I really appreciate that. It just takes a while to get it right sometimes, and it feels like it doesn't always work. Like that right there, I don't really know. Like, I want to give it something. I don't know. We'll have to revisit that at some point. Okay. So then I have to put in mesh in this area. I will have to figure that bit out. I know what, when I was sketching, I put this knot over here. That is not where that knot would be at all. It would be like right here. in all reality because her body is turning in that direction so I was way off when I was doing that and that's fine because it's just the sketch and it was to get a general idea Okay. No. There we 
we go. Actually, no, because because of where it is, it's going to be a little different. Let's. Have you ever traveled out of the USA? Yes, yes, I have. Um, I have traveled to uh, Mexico, Cayman Islands. Um, Hawaii is technically outside of the continental U.S., um, but not out of the U.S., uh, but very limited, basically, to Mexico and the Cayman Islands. Um, when I was younger, my parents had a timeshare in the Cayman Islands and whatnot, and um, I was lucky enough to have a friend whose parents had a timeshare in Mexico and he, one year he took me because he got to take um, one friend like every year he is an only child so like his parents would that that would be one of the things he could do uh, was take a friend so that was always really cool um, I, I did that once I think but it was very fun I enjoyed it but I've also been to Mexico with my family uh, before as well fine but I have never been to like Europe or anything like that I think that kind of gets it where I want it. And yeah, that's not too bad. Do you need to put in sports bra situation? has to change planes obviously but I 
Yeah, I think that's probably the way it should be. That put it a little farther down, kind of show that that band is down here. Uh, let's All right, hello. I don't know, KO. <laughs> so, uh, oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Okay, so we've got that down. I need to do the mesh. See, the mesh is going to be interesting because it's so easy just to do it straight lines because that's simple, but it has to also kind of follow the body, which is not so simple. Uh, I might actually do that on a separate layer. Okay, so we've got same thing with the uh, pattern for that. Thank you, I appreciate that very much. Okay. Maybe something kind of like that for the pants. Uh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. So let's see, we got that one, we got that one, we got one over here. We got one right there. So I need to figure out in this one. And I marked it. Yeah, so that one's just like frayed. So that one, let's erase that out a little bit here. Oop. Went a little crazy on it. That's, that's close enough. Okay, so. So I'm going to kind of give it really simple. Like that for that one. Um, 
Probably do something similar for each of these. It's kind of like a relaxed. A lot of lines going in right now. It's going to be a checker pattern. This one's going to be a checker pattern. And then random and random. Okay, so let's do this. Evaluate that. Yep. Maybe maybe something more like that. Making a little bit of progress on this. Ah, no, that's terrible. Maybe something like that. And then let's round that a little bit more. Making progress, 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 progress. It's all about that progress. Oops, let's bump that up. Too bad on that. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Those shoes are going to have to wait for next time, I think. Um, yeah, I have to really call it a day. All right. Let's kill that for right now. That's not too bad. It's a good start. It's a good start. Let's bring... This layer back up to 100. So we've got a lot of lines overlapping and stuff right now. And for the heck of it, let's. No, not that one. This one. It's like, why that? And that back up to 100. So kind of gives it a little bit more of what it's going to look like, I think. It's a good start on my. Original character, Typhling here. Um, I'm excited with where this is going, and I hope you guys are excited with me, and I hope you come back and see what's up on Thursday. Um, yeah. So there she is right now. She's posing, holding her staff without the staff there. <laughs> but we've made a lot of progress, I feel like. I think she's looking real good. Um, I think the pose is pretty solid and not boring. So that's nice. Need to figure out colors for her outfit at some point. Because her skin is going to be a lavender. So that's fun. Um, I need to figure out what color her horns are going to be. Also, I need to figure out where her... Uh, familiar, her possum is going to be featured in this. Maybe at her feet or something. I don't know. Um, I also need to figure out how I'm going to draw that character. But hey, we'll get there. We've got a decent way through this, I feel like, on the line art. And I'm pretty happy with where it's sitting for the most part. The pants might need some work. Um, get the shoes in there. Get the hair, the horns, fix that kind of wonky left ear, maybe? <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, I think she's looking awesome. And I hope you guys come back and see how she's coming along on Thursday, because that's the next one, is on Thursday. And I need to get out of here, get ready for work, because I'm an essential worker. Woo. Wish they'd pay me like an essential worker, but you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, you can follow progress and all that with these link with these uh, tags here. These names. Those are my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. If you search my name, San Twenty, on any of those, they should pop you right to me. You'll see my face or my little avatar dude from something else. Anyway, really appreciate everyone stopping in. It's always a blast. I love chatting with you guys while I work. It makes it a lot more fun for me and I hope it makes it a little bit more fun for you. And let's see, so I'm back on Thursday, 11 a.m. Pacific time. So same time, same place, wherever you're watching from, I'm there. Follow Subscribe if you're on YouTube, like things and all that fun stuff. Tell your friends, your family, if they like art. I'm here, Mondays and Thursdays, 11 a.m. Pacific time. 
So I will see you guys later, and I hope you had a fun time, because I know I did. So I'll see you later.